If you want to stream live video on the internet, there's a couple of options that you can use. You can use the built-in iSight camera, you can connect a webcam, or you could use an external video camera uh, to connect and send your video image live on the, in on the internet. In order to connect an external camera, it used to be that you could take a camera and plug in the FireWire into your computer. But more recent uh, computers do not allow you to use FireWire, they do not come with a built-in, and cameras do not come with FireWire built-in either. So in order to get an HD video camera on the internet, there's a couple other steps that you may need to do than simply plug in a cable directly to your computer. Let me show you how to get this Canon camera HD video streaming live on the internet. First of all, this camera does not come with a FireWire port. So what you'll need to do is connect via an HDMI cable. Now if you'll notice, there's an HDMI mini cable right here. Now what many people think that they need to do is simply take their HDMI mini cable, plug it into the camera, and then on the Mac, just plug in the HDMI cable. Unfortunately, even though it fits, this will not stream video live to the internet. This HDMI port on your Macintosh is a video out, not a video in. So simply by plugging in your video camera into this port, it's not going to work. Instead, what you need to do is have some sort of video converter. I like to use an Ultra Studio mini, mini recorder that runs through Thunderbolt. So what this does is it takes the HDMI signal from your camera, you can connect it or you can connect an SDI in, and you simply plug this in and then plug it into one of your Thunderbolt ports on your computer. Now, more recent MacBooks and MacBook Pros have two Thunderbolt ports, so you can plug in two devices at once. With the device turned plugged in and your camera turned on, all you have to do is use a program that will now allow you to stream to the internet. To stream to the internet, I click on Wirecast. This is a program that allows live streaming. When it opens, it asks if you would like to use a tutorial. You can use the tutorial and it will show you how to get started and do a lot more uh, work on here. I'm going to simply show you how to connect. So I click continue and then I'm going to make my screen a little bit larger. I come down here to one of these tracks. I click on the camera. And here I can either add my FaceTime HD camera, which is the built-in camera on my uh, Mac, or I can go down to Ultra Studio Mini Recorder One Shot, which is what this device here is. When I select that, it's then going to show me the camera that I have set up. I can click on this camera, and I can choose that camera to then stream to then stream live on the internet. So I can choose this camera to stream live on the internet. And this way, you can get a live HDMI feed going into uh, a program to send the video to the internet. In order to stream this video to the internet, now all I have to do is set up my stream. In Wirecast, I'm using Wirecast Pro version 5. I simply click on Stream, and I choose which destination I would like to use. Now it has a number of things that you can use, such as High School Cube, uh, YouTube, those are two that I use. You can also record it in various ways. You can click on more and you'll find that there's actually more options for you to use here. I'm going to go ahead and select OK. Let's say that I wanted to use YouTube. I would simply click on YouTube, click OK. It's now going to ask you to authenticate. What you should have done is created a live, um, a live event in YouTube previously. If you have done that, all you have to do is simply click Authenticate, log in, and it will find the live event that you've previously created. If you have not created a live event, you should do that first, and then this will allow you to stream to YouTube live. Now this is how to set up a single camera shot. I'm going to go ahead and click on Blank Shot. It's going to blank out this shot. You can see that I have my one camera here, but if I want to do a multi-camera setup, Maybe I'm doing a sporting event or play and I want to get multiple shots. I would need more than one camera. In order to do this, 
you can bring in your other camera. Again, you can plug in your other camera using an HDMI cable. Connect your HDMI cable. So now I have my two cameras. You're going to use your HDMI cable again to a mini recorder. Plug that in. So now you have two mini recorders set up. You're going to be able to have two cameras. Now because I did this while Wirecast is open, it might not recognize it. And notice how it doesn't see another shot. So what I have to do is quit out of Wirecast. Once I quit out of Wirecast, I can open it up again. And I don't need the tutorials. I'm going to go ahead and maximize my screen. Now I can add in my recorder shot one. I can add in my recorder shot two. And so here you can see I have both shots. Move that right there. So you can see two different shots inside of Wirecast. I can choose one shot. I can select the other shot. Or I could blank them both. Now Wirecast allows you to uh, layer your different shots or your tracks and compose different shots. And this is beyond the scope of today's uh, lesson, but you can see here I have two cameras set up. Now if you wanted to have a third camera set up, because you're limited, you only have two Thunderbolt ports inside your MacBook Pro. You can't put in a third Thunderbolt port. Blackmagic Design also sells what's called the Intensity Shuttle. This allows you to have video in and video out in various formats. In this case, we're going to use the HDMI in. This is a USB 3.0 cable, and you can tell it's three USB 3.0 because it has the SS next to the arrows. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. So now I have my third device. So I have my two mini recorders. I have my Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle plugged in to my third camera. So now I have one, two, three different cameras. I'm going to quit out of Wirecast. I'm going to open up Wirecast. And now I can add in the Intensity Shuttle shot, the Mini Recorder shot, and the other Mini Recorder shot. So now I have that camera, that camera, and that camera. I have three cameras set up running into a laptop that now I can stream live. Recently, I've only been able to do two cameras. I was only able to do two mini recorders, or I could do the USB 3.0 Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle. But when, but when Apple upgraded to Yosemite, I upgraded my machine to run Yosemite as well. And then I downloaded the most recent driver updates for Blackmagic Design. And now I'm able to run all three cameras, all three Blackmagic input devices at the same time. If you're having issues getting all three of these devices to run, make sure that you're running the most recent drivers and that you've uh, updated your Mac OS to Yosemite. And this will allow you to do a three camera shoot with equipment that you could fit essentially in a backpack.